What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com and I am back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top 15 highest selling recently sold Michael Jordan insert basketball cards. Now this list is going to cover strictly inserts only, the high end inserts, no autographs, no game used memorabilia cards, no rookie cards, no 80s stuff, just 90s stuff essentially. I think a couple 2000s cards are in here, but this is the most recently sold jordan cards insert cards as you know there are a lot of jordan cards to cover so i'm going to split them up in different sections this these videos are long overdue i've been waiting for the uh covid prices essentially to cool down so we can get more of a, a, a less of a hyper inflated values and i think that uh, i think we're there i think these prices are somewhat true for the most part. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Coming in at number 15 is a 1997 Fleer Thrill Seekers Michael Jordan insert card number seven, graded BGS 9.5 gem mint condition, sold at auction by PWCC Auctions August 2023 for $2,760. A PSA 10 example sold uh, November 2022 for $4,560. This is honestly one of my favorite sets, insert sets to collect. The background has like a prism globe in it, similar to the PMGs kind of. And then the, the photo of Jordan is die cut on top of that. And there's the red border as well. These cards, they are, they're, they're like a thicker card stock. If you've held them in hand, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a three layer system going on here awesome set they're different colors i think the kobe is purple uh the tim duncan is orange the rookie card the jordan is red obviously uh, i think they tried their best to go to with the uh, team colors bgs 9.5 2760 dollars look for low grade cards guys and the 1996 the previous year Fleer seekers is another cool card to look at too however it's not as cool there's a lot going on it's very uh, busy but the 97 Clear Thrill Seekers, very nice looking card. Number 14, 2006 Skybox EX Essential Credentials Parallel. Michael Jordan, number four, serial number four out of 77, rated BGS 9.5, gem mint condition, sold at auction June 2023 by Golden Auctions for $6,600. This includes the buyer's premium, so the actual winning bid was 5,500. However, the buyer paid 6600 so uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that's the value. That's going to be the same thing with all these cards. I'm including the buyer's premium, which is what the buyer paid. However, the seller did not get that uh, amount. Uh, I think it's safe to say that these are market values. Uh, the BGS 9.5. Uh, I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't even know there was a 2006 Skybox EX set. So when I saw this, I had to include it on the list. These are serial number out of 77. Essential credentials. It's a huge parallel i think the first set was 1996 or 7. Uh, very very valuable cards the, the, the design on the 2006 set is not nearly as cool as the earlier versions however it is pretty cool uh golden auctions included a uh, the photo on a white backdrop backdrop so you can see that it's kind of transparent uh, overall cool card if you guys didn't know this set does exist look for other players in the set i'm not sure who else is in the 2006 set probably uh shaquille o'neal kobe bryant maybe Maybe uh, probably Tim Duncan, other cards in the set, but uh, 6,600 for the Jordan BGS 9.5. Very cool looking card. And one of the many essential credential parallels out there. Number 13 is a 1998 Metal Universe Planet Metal. Oh, fuck. What? 1997 NBA Hoops High Voltage Michael Jordan. Number one, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction by Golden Auctions in August 2023 for $9,600. These were randomly inserted into the 1997 Hoops boxes. I believe that they were one per box. I actually opened a couple boxes on my channel in an attempt to pull one. However, I did not pull one. If I did, I can't remember which one it did. It was, I'm not sure actually if these are one per box, uh, but there are also high voltage 500 series, which are serial numbered and are much more valuable. But uh, for being a uh, essentially a, a, a 
almost a common insert. These are very cool cards. Great eye appeal, uh, terrific photos of the, each player, the high voltage. They stand out as some of the best inserts, especially being from the Hoops product. It's not very common that you see uh, any, anymore anyways, modern day stuff. But back in the day, Hoops had some good products. BAMs, I think, is another one on this list. Tim Duncan rookie card, Allen Iverson and is another card. Uh, Kobe, high voltage, $9,600. Golden Auction sold this one. Coming in at number 12 is 1998 Metal Universe Planet Metal. Michael Jordan die cut, insert number one, created PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction by PWCC Auctions in August 2023 for $9,600. This is going to beat out the high voltage card because these were more challenging to pull. I think PSA 10 example sold for $9,600 this month or last month, which is up from 2021 prices where one sold for $7,688. And then back in 2020, a PSA 10 sold for $3,323. So I'm not sure if this is the all-time high for this this card but psa 10s $9,600 guys jordan cards are going up believe it or not uh from what i've seen all his stuff is going up for the most part uh, the psa 10s the higher the grade the better especially on these rare 90s insert cards the planet metal card is unique because it looks like it's a planet and it's cut out like a circle a bgs 8.5 sold uh, may of 2023 for 990 dollars and the psa 8 sold in april of this year for 1080 dollars Coming in at number 11 is a 1997 Topps Stadium Club. I, I can never spell this or pronounce this. Trium Triumvirate Illuminator Michael Jordan die cut number T1B graded PSA 10 gem mint condition sold at auction by Heritage Auctions in August of 2023 for $9,900. These cards are some of the most uh, unique inserts in the hobby, whereas there's it takes three players to complete the, the photo, and Jordan and this one is being in the center. I think probably Pippen and Rodman on the left and right. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may, be, uh, I may, I may have that completely wrong. But uh, if you guys know this set, it's very unique very very tricky die cut with them being like the, the basketball court little pieces of wood so hard to find psa 10 examples obviously because of the the delicate thin pieces of cardboard and currently there are just seven psa 10 of these cards graded hey guys real quick i'm gonna give a huge shout out to all my channel members uh you know without you guys i wouldn't have made it this far i've got people supporting my channel for over three years now so huge shout out to all these guys that continue to support me for $1.99 a month. I mean, it means a lot to me. Uh, even though it's a little bit out of your pocket, it's a big, big motivation for me to keep going. So huge thank you. Huge, huge shout out. Stay posted for giveaways. I'm going to be giving away stuff like this Fleer hat, tops hats, shirts, cards, and uh, you know, whatever else I can think of. So those are for channel members only. Uh, you're going to be randomly picked every month and I'm going to do a video on the winner. If you want to be included in those drawings and feel like you want to support the channel, go ahead and go to my profile and sign up. Like I said, stay posted for the drawings. Give me any ideas down below what kind of perks you want for channel members. All right. Without any further ado, let's get back into the video. Coming in at number 10 is 1996 Metal Net Rages Die Cut Michael Jordan Insert Number 5 Graded PSA 10 Gem Mint Condition Sold at auction by PWCC Auctions, August 2023, $14,400. It's hard to tell in the photo how cool these cards are because they don't scan well, but when you're holding it in hand, it's. Uh, I'll include a picture of a photo that, you know, it, you can tell what it looks like. It's green, it's very cool. I actually made uh, shirts that you can buy. One of the coolest uh, memorable inserts that I remember growing up, you know, wanting. PSA 10s are up, guys. A PSA 10 sold in July of 2022 for $10,200. Previously, May of 2022, another one sold for 11,000. Back in 2019, guys, PSA 10, $1,800. And right now, the value's at 4 14,400 currently one of 18 PSA 10s one of 18 and it's fetched $14,000 a PSA 9 sold in December of 2022 for $1,470 big difference between a PSA 9 and a PSA 10 value however those nines could be catching up to the 10 values very cool net rages die cut these are one in 288 packs so not the easiest insert to pull number nine 
Oh, check this out, guys. 1993 Finest Michael Jordan, a lot of 20 refractors. Graded uh, SGC 8 and 8.5. This is card number one in the set. Very first refractor, guys. This is the very first refractor. 20 of them. This is an insane collection. Sold at auction by Heritage Auctions, August 2023, for an even $15,000. That makes him $750 a piece, which is good, honestly, for SGC 8. $750 a piece. That's a good good price you look at something like this and you see the time it took to collect all of those and eight's a decent grade it's not terrible grade it's not like they're sixes or sevens but i think eight eight point five it's a fairly decent grade for these cards considering their 1993 product they were very hard to pull very rare i feel like uh and it being the first technically the first very first refractor some historical significance to the hobby i think fifteen thousand dollars was a good price for this considering he can sell probably each uh at around at maybe i don't know man a couple years maybe a thousand bucks thousand dollars each so a little bit of profit there however i, I think that the guy's probably gonna hold on to this maybe sell a couple of the eights but i thought this was cool I had it included on the list you're gonna see stuff like this pop up uh, people just li liquidating their collections. The volatility of the market, it's, you never know, up or down. Stay posted for stuff like this, guys, because, you know, not many people may have known that this auction was out there. And, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this 20 card lot valued at 15,000 or should it have been more? I'm, I was actually surprised to see it at 15K. I feel like, I feel like 20K seems about right for all of them. So considering, like I said, the time it took to collect all of these car, all the Jordan cards. Heritage Auction, they're a great auction house to look for stuff like that. The lots, the big lots of cards. Coming in at number eight is the 1998 Hoops. Michael Jordan, BAMs insert serial numbered 170 out of 250 graded psa 7 near mint condition this is card number one in the set this one sold on ebay in august of 2023 by aa mint cards for fifteen thousand three hundred and fifty dollars very cool insert the card speaks for itself the bams card the back on the serial number it's a uh, older style serial number it says of 170 of 250 but this one sold for fifteen thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and it's a near mint condition card guys any card in this set i don't care who the player is get it graded authenticated it's going to be valuable coming in at number seven 1997 skybox big men on court michael jordan insert number nine graded psa 10 gym mint condition sold at auction in july of 2023 by pwcc auctions for sixteen thousand two hundred dollars oh man these cards are very delicate very thin product here guys if you've ever held one of these in your hand you know what i'm talking about very challenging to grade psa 10 at sixteen thousand two hundred dollars the previous recorded psa 10 was in july of 2022 for twelve thousand six hundred dollars and then prior to that guys june 2020 a psa 10 sold for five thousand three hundred dollars so we are up big time on the big men on court cards these were very challenging to pull very challenging to keep in gem mint condition so these higher grades are gonna fetch huge prices even the mint nine examples i feel like are going up bgs examples going up if you guys have never owned one or looked at one and i suggest go look at one go check them out go check it out a uh, very cool looking card. Coming in at number six, 1996 Skybox Z-Force. Michael Jordan Slam Cam Insert. Number SC5, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition. Sold at auction by PWCC Auctions in August of 2023 for $17,100. Another cool looking photo of Jordan uh, with the 90s design psa 10s are up january 1 sold for seventy five hundred dollars bgs 9.5 sells for around three thousand dollars so they're not serial number they're they are hard to find in high grades though uh the ink the z force cards are notorious for you know having ink chip off the edges and corners and backs even but overall one of the cool car coolest z force uh inserts and photos of jordan on this list. The Slam Cam cards were found one in 240 packs of the Series 1 1996-97 Skybox Z-Force boxes. There are a total of nine cards in the set. Number five, 1997 Skybox Z-Force Rave Parallel. Serial numbered 092 out of 399. Michael Jordan, number 23, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition. Sold at auction by PWCC Auctions in, in July of 2023 
for $17,400. So this looks identical to the base set. However, the, the last name uh, has like a uh, a platinum look to it, finish. So it's definitely, and, and the serial, serial number on the back. So it definitely stands out from the base card. However, you know, it's just, it's not too much going on. It has more of a, uh, a true Jordan collector's value. Whereas true Jordan collectors know, not only are they rare, but they're rare in high grades. Like I said in the previous card, Z, Skybox Z-Force cards, notorious for the uh, ink chipping on the edges, front and back or just having soft corners or whitening on the corners. So Gem Mint 10 examples, guys, they're gonna fetch premium prices. The PSA 10s are really, I'm telling you, if, they, if one does surface for auction right now on uh, most of Jordan's rare insert cards, Jordan collectors are getting in the bidding wars, essentially. And what's, what that's gonna do is elevate his uh, PSA 9 and sometimes eight cards depending on the population and depending on the rarity. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm displaying his cards and what the uh, prices, what kind of money are being spent on Jordan cards right now. Number four, 1996 Flare Showcase, Row Zero, Legacy Collection Parallel, Michael Jordan, number 23, serial number 77 out of 150, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, sold by Heritage Auctions in August 2023 for $18,600. This is the very first year of Flare Showcase Legacy Collection Parallels. The very first year of Flare Show Showcase was 1995. However, the Legacy Collection was introduced in 1996. Very rare. Uh, the Row Zeros are even rarer, uh, supposedly. And th the base set, you get the Row 1, 2, or you get the Row Zeros, 1, 2, in 1996 series. With Row 2 being common, Row 1 being short print, and Row 0 being super short print. However, with this being serial number, it's uh, automatically a super short print regardless of what row it is. But if you're looking at comparing prices at the auction, the row zero is gonna fetch more than the row one or two. Also, the design is much more visually appealing. It has like a, uh, a glitter effect on the background. Very cool. The row zero stand out from the other rows and all flare sh showcase set the blue ink on the bottom also it's a sure sign that it's a legacy collection card if you guys have any legacy collection cards guys big big collectability no matter what the player especially row zero all right so uh also awesome card of jordan um the, all of them on a flare showcase is just an overall terrific set in all sports baseball football basketball and hockey i think even hockey has it i'm not 100 percent on that Number three 1997 Metal Universe Championship Hardware Michael Jordan Insert Number Five Graded PSA 10 Gem Mint Condition Sold at auction by PWCC Auctions in August of 2023 for thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars. These were some of the more ins uh, challenging inserts to actually pull. Also, because of the uh, full foil front, I feel like the edges are foil. They're challenging to grade as well. Lots of chipping on the edges and the corners. PSA 10 sold in July of 2022 for $21,600. And then March 2023, a PSA 10 sold for $22,800. Five months later, a PSA 10 sold for $34,500. So this card continues to go up, PSA 10s specifically. However, mint copies and near mint to mint copies could see an increase on this card due to its rarity, difficulty to pull, and difficulty to grade. It's another Metal Universe insert, which is a popular set because of the PMG being in this set. Metal Universe, yeah, the PMG, and a bunch of other inserts. So it's one of the ones to get. This is a Tim Duncan rookie year. He has Metal uh, Championship hardware insert to keep your eyes peeled for. I think those are pretty cheap right now. I'm not sure, I think Shaq does as well. I mean, it's not many, it's not the uh, many collectors favorite, simply because it's doesn't have the best the, the design however if you look into these cards you see how how rare they are number one and how hard they are to grade so you'll learn to appreciate them if you want you realize that number two Ooh, all right coming in at number two you, you guys would be surprised this is number two is 1997 skybox ex 2001 michael jordan jambalaya insert die cut 
Number six, graded BGS 9.5 gem mint condition. Sold at auction by PWCC Auctions in August of 2023 for $52,800 for a BGS 9.5. That is up from what it sold for back in November of 2022 at $44,400. However, it's down from May of 2022 at when a BGS 9.5 sold for $126,000. But if you look further back, that was like the peak of Ah, that, that was the peak, I think, of the pandemic prices, I guess. That's when things started cooling down. Uh, but if you look pre-COVID at 2020, a BGS-9 sold for $19,400. And then 2018, $9,275. For those of you that have been in the hobby for a while, know just how popular, how cool, and exciting these Jambalaya cards are. 1997 is the first year so it's it's going to be even more valuable uh upper deck and fleer i think produced a couple more of these later in the years there's a handful of jambalayas out there to look for i think there's even a wayne gretzky jambalaya card and it, they're all valuable simply because of this one set kobe bryant Shaq, so many cool players Allen iverson i think is in the set but jambalaya guys it is hands down one of the most iconic inserts of all time 1997 probably the best year for basketball card inserts 96 97 these cards are always going to hold value collectors with money want this card it doesn't matter what grade a bgs 95 a psa 8 sold for 32,000 in october 2022 let's see do we have any psa 9s oh man a psa 10 back in march of 2018 sold for 12,000 $100 dirt cheap at the time <laughs> compared I mean compared to what there's 52 53,000 so jambalaya cards uh, one of the best another crucial piece of information that you should know about these jambalaya cards is just how impossible they were to pull these were inserted one in 720 packs which means you had to put open potentially 30 boxes just to pull one of the 15 players in the set yeah 15 players in the set I mean any player you pulled you got Rodman Iverson Hardaway Hill Garnett, Jordan, O'Neal, Duncan, full of Hall of Fame players with the exception of maybe four. But that's another piece of information that you should know about these. Not only is the design beautiful and flawless and unique at the time, this die cut shape was don't think ever produced prior to this year. So it was unique and very chap, almost impossible to pull. One in 30 boxes or one in 720 packs. Coming in at number one, 1997 Metal Universe Platinum Portrait Michael Jordan Insert Card. Number one, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction by PWCC Auctions in August of 2023 for $90,000, guys. One sold in August of August 8th, 2023 at fixed price for $75,000, while back in April of 2023, a PSA 9 sold at auction for $9,000. These platinum portrait cards are unique because the uh, the silhouette of Jordan's face, their pinholes are like cropped out. So if you hold it up in the air, you can see through it. These weren't the rarest or di most difficult cards to pull. However, the platinum portraits were actually pulled from one out of 288 packs. So somewhat challenging to pull. Not the easiest pull ratio uh, by any means, but one out of 288, easier than the Jambalaya, but not as easy as some of the other cards on this list high grades are very hard to get pre-covid uh, psa 10 was at 3300 dollars in 2018 in 2019 4500 dollars up to seven thousand dollars in 2019 and 2020 a psa 10 eighteen thousand dollars so these have gone up and ninety thousand dollars they continue to go up that's it guys top 15 michael jordan basketball cards inserts cards recently sold at auction like i said if i'm going to be doing the autograph cards the game used cards 80s cards and the 92 stuff 92 93 so stay posted for those videos i'm going to thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing appreciate all the support see you all in the next video